Welcome back to Budget Mechanic, I'm Josh. And I have a lot of people that bring me their cars saying they have a spongy brake pedal and they want me to change their brake pads. Well, I get in the car and I push on the brake pedal and it actually goes straight to the floor, which is different than a spongy brake pedal and it can be a really dangerous situation. So squishy brakes um, can actually be from your brake pads wearing out or not being effective because it feels like you have to press your brakes harder and farther to get your car to stop. But often that squishy feeling in your pedal can be something other than brake pads. So if there's air in your brake system, like your fluid level has gotten too low, you can get air in there that compresses in a different way than fluid does and your pedal will feel real squishy, right? Now, when we talk about squishy, that's still your brake pedal only moving a certain distance towards the floor before it creates pressure. Now, if you've got that squishy brake problem, it's probably time to go check your brake fluid, bleed all your brakes, maybe change those pads. Now, squishy brakes are very different from what I call sinky brakes. That's when your brake pedal initially gets firm, but then continues sinking towards the floor slowly. Usually happens when you're at a stop sign or at the traffic lights where you're holding the brakes and you're not moving, and that pedal goes all the way to the floor. That's an entirely different thing than pads and air in the lines and can be really dangerous. If you've got the sinking brake pedal problem, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose it today. But before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that alert bell on this video. You won't regret it. So the way that your braking system works is when you push the pedal, it pushes a pin which compresses the brake fluid in the lines and the pressure is transferred down to your calipers which causes them to squeeze onto your rotors and stops your wheels, right? So it's, it's all about pressure in the system. So what happens if you lose pressure in the system is obviously the force of your pedal is no longer fully transferred to your brake pads. And that's exactly what's happening when your pedal is sinking to the floor, is pressure in the system is being lost somewhere. Now, there's a few different ways that that can be lost. Now the most common way that the system loses pressure is through fluid leaks. So brake fluid getting out of the system. So the first thing you want to do is check your brake fluid reservoir under the hood. And if you're losing fluid, obviously this is going to be low or empty. And then you need to find out where the leaks are. Now, the brake fluid is distributed to the four wheels um, by these steel brake lines, which you can see coming off of the ABS module. Then these brake lines, sometimes made out of steel or rubber, will go from the front of the car and distributed underneath to the various wheels. And those can all either rust, leak, crack, and fluid will get out. Like any other leak, sometimes just spots on the driveway will be a good indication of where the leaks are coming from. Another place that you'll get leaks is the, the brake calipers or wheel cylinders in the back. And what that'll look like oftentimes is fluid leaks out onto the tires and when, it's, when the tires are moving, it'll kind of spray it out on the inside of the rubber. You can get in there and see that pattern. That's a good indicator. Also, the junction between the steel and rubber lines is often a place where fluid will leak out. So one other way that your system can lose pressure is through the ABS, which is your anti-lock braking system. There's all these solenoids and switches inside that ABS module that when not closed properly can let your pedal sink to the floor. Now often when this is the case, you're going to have an ABS light on your, on your dash, maybe a traction control light, or maybe you recently slammed on the brakes and the ABS activated and now you're having trouble. Those would be your best indicators that this is the problem. The most common reason for the pedal sinking to the floor is a failing master brake cylinder. You can see this reservoir just like the one on this truck that we looked at before. Right underneath it is the master cylinder. And what happens when you push your brake pedal, a rod pushes this in and essentially pressurizes the brake lines coming out and those go to your wheels. Now, it's all fine and good, uh, but what happens if this fails, right? Then you have no brakes. Not true. Somewhere back in the 60s and 70s, they decided we should probably put a backup circuit on this cylinder so that if the main one fails, if the, if the seals inside uh, break, at least we can still stop. And that's what's happening when your brake pedal is kind of firm at first and then sinks to the floor. It's fluid leaking past the primary seals and going basically onto a backup. So when you're driving around with your pedal sinking to the floor all the time, you're on the backup system. And if that were to fail, you would have no brakes. So when your master cylinder fails, a couple things can happen. First of all, it can leak internally, meaning the seal goes bad, but no fluid is leaking out. So your pedal goes to the floor, but your uh, fluid level in the reservoir stays the same. So if that's happening, it's an internal leak. So the second place it can leak is externally, where 
this seal right here will, will, will break down and fluid will actually escape um, outside. You'll lose fluid in the reservoir and you'll see brake fluid on your brake booster. Uh, we moved over to this truck because it's a little easier to see. But what'll happen is brake fluid leaks out onto the brake booster. Usually it like starts bubbling the paint um, and that's a really good indication of an external leak. Now, if you let a leak like this go long enough, fluid will actually leak into the brake booster, which is this, this big piston thing here, and it will destroy it because the brake fluid is really uh, destructive to seals. Then you have a compounded brake problem because now your brake booster is broken. You got to replace that as well. So that's just another reason you want to fix this problem as soon as you discover it. Now, this is a really common issue that I see, and often I think people don't realize how serious it is. Obviously, the brakes are the most important safety feature of your car, and if they go out, really bad stuff can happen. So, fix it. This is totally a doable fix for a budget mechanic. All you need is a properly fitting brake line wrench for your car, and maybe someone to help you bleed the brakes after you're done. I don't think we have a video on installing a master cylinder, but if you're interested in seeing one, let us know in the comments below. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any budget mechanic content.